Right, I just came back from Holly in Brighton. Just thought I'd check on the garden. Eucalypt's doing well. Trachycarpus princeps and other Trachycarpus seedlings are, are fine. Queen Palm's got new spear opening off there. This is the latest grown this year. This ginger needs a good water. This 49 originally grew loads of long, six foot long leaves. As you can see, are really tatty. But this year it's just decided to grow some stiffer leaves, which is actually probably better because they will get us battered. The runner beans starting to grow in the pots. Nice Vivax auricolis bamboo. A few shoots this year. And some sweet peas that my daughter planted in the pot, doing really well. Some are bedding, including the Dixonia Antarctica stump of all the Promedias, which have done fine. And the uh, ferns growing in there as well. The new lawn, which has been down just a week, it's growing already, it's settled in. So it's summer bedding's done well. There's a bit of Nicandra left there, I've took out the rest because it is pretty poisonous and it's self seeded too much, it's too much of a weed. This is the variegator, fancy variegator. A bit of variegation there. The spider's web, which is a lot better variegation. It's a really nice plant. Nice lilies in full bloom, smell gorgeous. More shade loving plants, aces, more fancies. Apple trees and the wasps are deciding to eat all the apples, as you can see on there. A lot of wasps living in there. Hopefully they'll taste better this year. The ones that haven't been eaten by wasps. Yeah, bedding. Still doing well. Curl is looking nice. You call me out. Alocasias growing well. And ginger not doing too bad. Caucasia fontanciae. All my, all my Caucasians have got really bad red spider mite. This one's not doing as bad as the rest. So it's grown okay. Dahlia's in there. These are really long lasting ones. Each flower's lasted about 10, 14 days, which is pretty amazing, I think. For a dahlia, ferns in the background. Bamboo, which is decided to be quite yellow. I think it grew too quickly and didn't get enough feed. Both will green up soon. All that growth is this year, pretty much, apart from two cones. Nasocarpa banana. Shiroshima bamboo. Little waggy uh, Arophilius trachycarpus. This is going okay. A really fast growing Brea edulis, which is growing free. Leaves and forths will be up and soon, I'm sure. Really nice plant, that. I think everybody should have one. Our seed sown eucalyptus. Now, this spear pulled this winter, this trachycarpus, and you can see it's got one, two, three leaves coming. I'm really pleased it survived. It didn't show any new growth till early June. T-Rex, as ever, growing away. Nice three foot wide leaves. Really red leaved, really, really red leaved on set. Where are they? Honey spur, honey bush, uh, Miliamphus. Survived winter. Very late starting though. The red spiders in here are okay. We'll grow it again because they're not as big a flower as I thought they would be. Musa Beju, 
cut pretty much to ground and they've grown a few foot. And actually they're showing a bit of red on the reverse of some of the leaves, which you can just about see. And there. Uh, sunflowers. Oh, Clematis Bill Mackenzie. Which I really like the flower on that one. And the Runodonax variegator in the background. Again, I didn't think that would survive, but it has done. It's grown a few feet. Pink China Colocasia, really nice one. It's grown well, it's not been affected by red spider mite as much as the others. Nancy's Revenge, not done much to be honest since I planted it out. Bootia. Yeah, that's, I think that's a seed sown one. Not from myself, but it's a UK grown one from seed. Chemerops, Serifera, nice blue leaves. Two new leaves and a third spear on the Jebea there, which is nice. Really fast Nitel, Flickercarpus. It's had about four, four new leaves so far and a fifth spear coming. Volcano. So that's the view of the back garden. Have been a Boreanthus there as well? Lonium cutting, a little psycho there. Fuma eucomus. In the greenhouse, got loads of little gingers grown from little buds from the flowers from last year, which grew really well. So some more little gingers I've grown from cuttings, uh, from division. Palm seedlings, Caucasus. Mystery one, could it be Thai giant? I think it probably is now. Divided them, they're growing well. Got the Montes, Onset Montes, and Hinebas there as well. Actually, growing really well. Seed sown Trachycarpus from red. Hopefully, they'll sprout in the next couple of weeks. And more seedlings. This is doing well. This is not done well. I think you can say it's definitely dead. This wagget. More beans. Bamboo. Got the ferns. This is growing well. Nice silver under. Of the runs. Phoenix palm. It's going well. Nice colour cage that divided this mojito. It's only been in this little pond for a week. It's grown really well with the Tala del Barta. And this, which I think is Black Beauty, although it could be illustrious. That's growing nice. A little root cutting of a T Rex grown there. Burgundy stem. This is growing nicely, although it has got loads of red spider mite on it. This little one is a Colocasia mojito, which was the main stem actually, and rotted off. And then all these have sprouted in the last sort of month. My biggest Jack's Giant. It's not done anything this year, to be honest. So, more cannas. Yucca Restrata, which actually is showing some growth. So several inches growing in the middle there, which is good to see. Living doorstop. Dorm, actually. With a booty that's always getting really bad spot in each winter. So I have to cut back more sleeves. 
just leaves the middle ones. Some more pots, some more cannas that have grown from seed, dahlias. Another strifera. Another on set. Washer that's survived outside winter for a couple of years and I brought it in this winter. Never looks particularly good. More cannas and dahlias. Bayer Amata with nine leaves, it's grown really well this year. Four new leaves already this year, including that one. Really pleased with that. Front garden. Another little Keymark Serifera. Zinnia Purple Prince. Also, well, all that bedding's grown from seed. Medio Picta. Needle Palm, which is growing, albeit very slowly. Ginger green eye, it's budding up, it's going to be flowering in a couple of weeks, had I thought. Chili is just about finished now. Aeonium's doing well. That's about three or four a foot tall, that one. Washingtonia robusta's not done much this year, that's only its third leaf just about out. It's been pretty slow. Now my Sarcast Revoluta, it's its first flush and it's doing really well. I guess another two or three weeks and it'll be fully out. Oh, daily is an on set. The middle arid bed, again I've got loads of budding up little flowers here. Loads and loads of cuttings of uh, aeoniums in there, cacti. House lakes. Just pull in there. Loads of them. Yucca there, which is dead addy. And this is a fuchsia tone west, which has grown massive this year. It's done really well, survived winters in the garage. So that's pretty much. pretty much it.